Hey, this is Brendan. Welcome to part one of the Bricks Maven video series. I'm going to do a collection of these to understand how to get started and use and design and reuse your Bricks Maven projects. And so in part one, we're just going to take a look at the what Bricks Maven is, how it might help you, and the Figma file. So Bricks Maven is very similar to frames in the sense that they both uh, offer BEM styled layout components of common layout sections for websites for Bricks Builder. And so if you've used frames, Bricks Maven will be pretty familiar to you. Uh, I'm gonna go over some of the differences later on, but we just want to take a look today at Bricks Maven and let's take a look quickly at the alpha library. Now you'll see there are about 500 blocks, I believe, in here. These are the most recent ones that were added. You can filter them here, and you can search for blocks for the header, and that will update here so you can see all the header pages. You can also filter on the side here to, for instance, you know, see all the call to actions. And you can also preview these. It'll show you the desktop version, tablet, mobile. Everything is nicely styled with them classes and ready to style once you've imported them into your project. Okay, so Bricks Maven has three different options. There is a free version, which I believe was released just today. It comes with 105 uh, blocks. I believe you can get access to any of these versions. So you can get 100 blocks for ACSS, 100 blocks for core, 100 blocks for vanilla CSS. And if you wish to upgrade that to get all the access, you will be very happy because there's a lot of blocks in here that will speed up your process. Okay, so you can buy either version of these. You get one version i think for each subscription so if you're an automatic css user or core framework user or if you just want the vanilla css version go ahead and choose the one you want and check it out i would definitely check out the free version just to see which blocks are available i can't actually see because i am a, a pain customer so i see all the all the blocks um that being said let's jump over quickly to shift gear into one of the sort of secret benefits that I didn't even know about. And one of the reasons I, I didn't really look at uh, Bricks Maven because I have frames and um, it seemed like kind of an overkill and a lot of repetition, but uh, I bit the bullet and I got it and I'm really happy I did because the other thing it comes with is a Figma file, which um, can really help speed up your projects. So let's take a look here. Um, I've imported, once you, once you sign up, you get a dot fig file you just import it here uh, i believe it's called something like alpha library i renamed it um, and so I, this is the one that i duplicate and then reuse so we're going to do that i already have another project here with it let's just duplicate it and you can kind of quickly see the workflow i'm not going to do a whole figma tutorial and i'm not the guy to do it either um, in any case you open the file and couple things we see here our uh, primary colors okay so the primary red is what you see on the bricks maven website as well if you want to update that you can change this and it'll change it for all the components okay so let's do let's just qu quickly create a new page my new project all right and let's press f for frame throw that on there i want to come in here and change the width to 1600 I believe that is what it's using on the project you'll you can come in here and inspect this and check it out uh, in any case let's make this height like I don't know 3000 okay and there we've got our first page let's name this to home page and what do we need we need to now we add components to this so come up here to the components you can also press shift I for resources components you can search this for header and this will pull up all those uh wireframes from bricks maven okay so there is our first component added we have a header and you can also change this header one 
Let's see one header two, header three, header four, so on. So let's stick with header four for now. It doesn't really matter what we use. And again, we can do the same process, but for the um, footer. Okay, so go to our components, type in footer, footer, okay, drag that into our frame. Okay, and I don't really have any of my Figma settings set up, so I'm just kind of not, everything's not snapping into place, but in any case, you get the idea. So again, there's our footer, there's our page component. And let's say we wanted to keep that as our, like, um, you know, whatever, bare bones page. And then we can duplicate that and we can call this home page. And we can duplicate that again and call this like the about page. Duplicate again, call it the blog page, et cetera. You get the idea. Let's duplicate that, call it the contact page. Okay, so we can change the order of these if we want. Um, in any case, you get the idea that now you have a starting template to, to go from. You can start adding components in. So again, we can start adding like hero sections. You know, if we want uh, that hero section, we can also choose from any of these other hero sections. You'll notice that the size of it changes. So sometimes you'll need to adjust the size of your frame. But in any case, it's a very powerful way to quickly get your project started. Let's go with that hero section. Let's go with some kind of feature section. Feature section, that's too big. I don't like that one. Let's make it smaller. Feature section, now we can also come in here and make this a little bigger, 5,000 pixels tall. Uh, now I'm not using auto layout. I would recommend checking that out and you can not have to drag as much around. Right, but you get the idea that you come in here and quickly add your components. Let's add some testimonials. Testimonial section, wonderful. And I'm just gonna randomly choose one. Doesn't really matter. Um, testimonials, what else do we need? We need some kind of blog, maybe blog section. There's a blog section. Wonderful. Okay, there's a blog section. And we can open this up. We can change out our blog section. doesn't really matter what we use. Now, the other benefit here is that you can style these uh, just on the fly, right? I can come in here and say, let's change the background here to my light version of my primary color. Now, this is only changing this one instance of it. For instance, you know, so if I come in here and do blog again, and we add a, what, blog section, uh, what, which one is this? This is blog six. So if we come here to blog six, you can see it doesn't have that background styling, okay? So just like in CSS classes, you need to assign this at a component level at some kind of global level so that it will update, okay? So what, what, can, we, what can we do? We can uh, right click on any component and you can go to main component and that will take you to, you know, wherever it is down in, in the component library. You can see the purple here with the filled in star. That's how you know it's the parent uh, component, right? So if we come back to our my new project and we say right click again, main component, push changes to main component. And you can see also that updated it here because it's these are both instances of the main component. And again, if we right click and go to main component, you can see that's now had its background color changed, its primary light. And if we come back here and change it back to white, That'll do the same for both of those components. So just to quickly get started, this is how it's gonna be with getting your project into a Figma file and quickly uh, getting out at least the wireframe. Then you can come back and you can further style it up. And there is a good amount of global control in terms of the colors. Uh, it doesn't use, I believe it doesn't use Figma variables. Um, it has no additional plugins or anything like that. So it's just, um, you know, some of this, as again, you saw, I had to change some of this stuff manually. So if I have to like come in here to edit the color, for instance, let's just pick whatever, let's just pick that blue. I'm gonna grab that hex code, close that. You can see my primary light has not updated. So what we need to do is come in here and edit it. 
if we type in the hex code, then switch it back to HSL, we can do five and that'll create an, uh, sorry, we wanted to do 95 here uh, for a, a light version, right? And then we can do the same for the dark version. Um, you know, hit edit, enter my hex color, back to HSL and do five. So there's our, there's our color system set up with a new set of colors. And again, now if we come back to our project, you can see the red has swapped to blue. Okay. And again, if we wanted to change some of this, we now have those colors set up. So I think this is a really important workflow enhancement. If you're not already designing in Figma, uh, you should be probably setting this up here, at least to get your structures down, get your flow of the page, what sections are going to have what. Um, you know, sometimes you want to like, you know, have a secondary page layout. So you might have this on, uh, oops. You might have this on multiple pages, right? So you can quickly get your structure, uh, thrown in here. You can even come in here and start adding copy, right? So whatever you need to do, you, this comes with, uh, Bricks Maven. So anyway, that was the intro to getting started with your project. Uh, it probably went a little bit longer than it needed to. Uh, there's a lot more to this. You mean, this, again, this is not a full Figma tutorial. It's not a full design tutorial. Uh, however, this, I wanted to let people know about this because I did not even know about the Figma file and it is a tremendous time saver if you're going to be using this project uh, and repeating the process and using these components. Um, so yeah, definitely check out Bricks Maven. We're going to do um, a full sort of design tutorial and then rebuild everything in Bricks. I've got a project here started. Uh, and again, this is just using base Bricks Maven with a couple little edits, very minimal design effort. I just wanted to kind of show the workflow. Uh, so anyway, that's going to be in the next video. We're going to build this out in Bricks. All right. Hope you got something out of it. And thanks. Talk to you soon.